Have you ever wondered what the protruding parts beneath airplane wings do? They are flap activating mechanisms. In other words, inside this protruding cover, there is an interesting mechanism that activates the flaps. We will explore this concept in detail in this video. Airplane wings have flaps attached to the end. By activating the flaps, we can increase the lift production. You can see how the flaps should move for this purpose. It should rotate as well as translate. Let's understand one of the simplest flap mechanisms that facilitates this motion. The specialty of this mechanism is that by moving just one link, we achieve the desired motion. Let's simplify the mechanism. This is basically a four bar linkage. When the input crank moves, the output rocker rotates as shown. Let's modify this mechanism to achieve the desired motion. First, the length of the rocker arm is increased. The length of the coupler is also increased. One more link is connected to the end of the rocker arm. A final limb is connected between these arms. Let's concentrate on points A and B on the rocker arm. It is clear that point B will have a higher speed than point A. This speed will be transferred to points C and D of the limb via the connecting arms. In short, point C of the limb moves faster than point D. This motion will make the output limb turn as shown. A translatory motion is also guaranteed as a result of this. A cover is connected with the limb and is then welded with the flap. So the flap will also follow the desired motion. These protruding parts also act like anti-shock bodies, thus allowing the airplane to fly more aerodynamically. The next time you board an airplane, try to figure out what kind of mechanism is used in the massive protruding covers beneath the wings. To learn how does an airplane fly, please check the linked video. Thank you.